really big exciting news coming up. 30, 31, 32. Hey, and savvy. The electric berry. We're super, super slow. So fucking tired. Lunch day. Good morning, you guys. It's actually not morning anymore. It's 11.23. I've been up. I've been responding to, like, all my messages, emails, stuff like that. My stomach is kicking right now because I made a coffee this morning. I'll show y'all how to make this coffee later on throughout the week. I did not end up showing you guys at all. It's such a simple little recipe. I made my coffee, so my stomach is like freaking rumbling. I have to shit. I have work tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm off Saturday, and then I work Sunday. So I literally work all this week. It's been so slow on like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because I've been working the morning shifts. So it's been so, so freaking slow. I really want to talk about rearranging my schedule, but I think I'm just going to leave it be for like the rest of this year. But I really, really need to figure out my schedule because I cannot be working these Tuesday shifts anymore, especially Tuesday, because they're just off slow anyways yeah today's Monday I have a few things I want to do today I want to film a patreon video I'm filming this week in my life I want to film a playlist video too um what else do I need to do oh I have a call with my Edwards Jones guy for my investments at 2 p.m. because I have some really big exciting news coming up that I can't really share just yet I'll share at a different time but I can't share it just yet so I want to talk to my Edward Jones guy because I invest a lot of money every month to my investments and Stuff like that so when I do go to like retire or whatever or like when I'm older I'll have a lot of money invested and like made over time if you're not investing your money you should because you might as well like make money while you're not really doing anything for it so yeah I'm gonna talk to my investments guy and then what else do I have to do oh I need to ask about my exciting news that I actually need to call Dwayne right now and figure that out but I am posting on patreon again about to film like a little mini like podcast almost ish episode my topic of of the discussion today is going to be like just feeling like an outsider in your own family feeling like the quote black sheep of your family because I feel that so heavily so that's going to be my like mini podcast topic today I think I'm about to film that right now Like I said, I went over kind of like feeling like the black sheep of the family and just feeling kind of like an outsider in your own family. So I'm just gonna edit this real quick. It's 12.41 right now. Once I get done editing this, I'm going to probably film my playlist video and try getting ready for that. Hello. Hey Savannah, it's Michael Taysom, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Cool, I understand you've got some changes going on over there. We wanna figure out kind of what makes sense financially and savings and investment wise going forward, is that? Yes. Sound right? Yes. Okay. Y'all, it's way later. What time is it? I don't even know. Where's my phone? It's 7.31. I'm at Julia's now. Yeah. <laughs> we're about to go out. So we're a couple shots shot. Yeah, we're a couple <laughs> shots deep. But we're about to go out, so we're going to bring you guys along. When the stars fall out the sky, I try to catch them. When the past fades, my heart will recollect them. Every droplet of your time has my attention Any worry on your mind, I can deflect it Baby, tell me your dreams will manifest it If you wanna run away, I will protect ya If your head's in the ground and you want yeah. <laughs> already lit as hell before we got to Vidora then Vidora just was like a next level up and then y'all we decided to go to the neighborhood and go to Roundup and we found ourselves doing karaoke <laughs> I am in well this 
this morning. We have a time last night. Girl, it's 9, 9.22 in the morning. I gotta be at work at 10.30 at the latest, but I'm gonna just get ready at work. My hair is kind of already done-ish, but I need to get this, like, eyelash glue out of my freaking eyes. It's just literally, like, stuck, and it's making my lashes look all wonky. Yo, I'm telling you, when me and Julia are out together, I think it's generally one of my favorite times to ever be out because we'll go just me and her, and then we'll end up making, like, friends while we're out, you know? So last night, we met these three people, two of them that went up on stage with us. Yeah, we met three new people, and we literally had a time. Like, we were just singing and fucking vibing. We were trying to sing Love Me by Lil Wayne and then Love by Keisha Cole, but they didn't have them, and we were like the fuck why do y'all not have those songs so we ended up having to sing i kissed a girl by Katy perry i kissed a girl and i liked it kissed her cherry chapstick i kissed a girl just to try it wow she hitting that shit anyways i'm gonna just take off my freaking eyelash glue from yesterday and then i'm gonna throw some makeup into my little makeup bag it's back there the pink one i'm just gonna throw on my uniform and then we're gonna head out of the house <laughs> I just realized I don't have my contacts in nor do I have my fucking glasses but we gonna have to back it right the fuck on up go back to my house to get this. There's so much. oh my fucking god I'm getting so fucking overstimulated right now all right, I just got to work it's 10 17 right now it's actually such a pretty day currently 305 we were super slow today i only actually had two tables i ended up serving someone that was sitting at the bar so let's see how much i made i'm so tired though of working tuesdays because especially tuesday mornings like nights would be different it'd probably still be slow but it just wouldn't be as slow mornings on tuesdays are by far the worst day to work and he always wants to schedule me on them so i'm working a lot of tuesday mornings but i hate it because it's so slow but i made 20 25 26 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So I made $33. And yeah, I'm gonna go home. I wanna edit my playlist video that I filmed yesterday. Also, y'all look, I got this cutesy little cup for the 40th, yeah, 40th anniversary. We had these cups that you could buy and we just had one like leftover extra. So I asked my manager if I could have it and he told me I could, so. All right, let's go home and let's start our first job, actually, because this is the second job. Um, I'm gonna do a bowl with white rice black beans and then chicken i decided to get some chipotle because i was craving it and why not spoil yourself sometimes you know i just got home it's four o'clock i'm about to sit and watch um what's it called welcome to plathville i think oh no 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 no! i'm gonna catch up on my zeus episode no i don't have zeus on this tv so never mind i'm not gonna watch that i'm gonna watch my plathville episode i'm gonna eat my chipotle also you guys look what i just fucking got in the mail i'm literally screaming you guys know how all the avid colors are coming out ysl fucking 
Jane sent me their advent calendar. I cannot wait to open this up. I'm probably gonna open it up for TikTok and like Instagram. I am about to eat my food, watch my TV, and then actually after that, instead of editing, I think I'm gonna go to the bank because I have to. I'm applying for a credit card right now, so I need to go to the bank and give them some like forms of identification and stuff so they can approve me or even just like process my application for the credit card. I have been struggling to find a credit card that will actually like approve me. I've already gotten denied for like two because I don't have any credit history at all, which I thought living in the apartment was gonna give me credit history, but it didn't. So I literally don't have credit, but I need, I wanna start building up my credit so I can use like the points and the benefits for it. I really wanna end up getting the built credit card so I can pay my rent with it, but I have to have credit in order to even get approved for the built credit card. So I'm trying to build up my credit. anything good I'm not even gonna lie to you I was catching up on my zoo shows so I watched Jocelyn Cabaret reunion and then I also watched the latest episode of Baddies East yeah and then I ate all my Chipotle chill did that my nephew was here so I was hanging out with them I just didn't edit which I still need to do I was trying to get my shift covered for tomorrow so I could just stay at home and edit it didn't work out in my favor so we still have to go to work tomorrow but I am gonna treat myself so I got these Brio massagers I got a neck massager I also got uh, a hair massager or head massager and then I also got a foot massager because y'all know if you're a server or if you've ever served you know that <laughs> your feet are gonna hurt okay they're gonna hurt I got a foot massager I'm not gonna use the foot massager today because I'll just wait till tomorrow after work see how my feet feel but I do however like to use the foot massager when I'm like doing my makeup or whenever I'm getting ready for bed I literally have it I have it right there underneath my vanity because I've been using the freak out of this thing it's just so nice and it makes my feet feel so good so yeah but I also got this back massager that I'm about to show y'all right now. Yo! You can literally walk around the house and just use this. I gotta make it a little bit tighter because Dwayne was over here at my house and he was using it. Girl, he loved it. Also, sorry, I have to have my fan on. I was literally burning up. Well, actually, let me turn it down right quick so I can talk to you guys. I was just burning up, y'all. I was getting so hot. You go like this and you put it on your back and then you take the strap and you go and you clip it. So once you have it on, you have these little buttons right here. You can like change the intensity. So you just press these little buttons. Look, now it's going faster. You can hear that it's going faster. Y'all, the way this shit just feels. Honestly, best investment. Best investment. I love going to get massages, but you could save so much freaking money by just having this. Girl, this just feels so freaking good. This is the hair one that I got. If you got a boyfriend or you got a friend and y'all do like a little spa night or whatever, get this because it literally feels like someone's scratching your head, but like they don't have to scratch your head actually. They could just hold this and then move it around your head. But this is the coolest thing. I had never seen anything like this and I wanted to try it, but this is the Brio Scalp Triology Massager. It's supposed to relieve your scalp muscles and also help with like light scalp pains and like headaches and stuff, but I just love the way it feels because it literally feels like someone's scratching my head, but not scratching my head. Is that not the crazy? craziest shit ever. It kind of looks like a jellyfish low-key. Put it in your head and it literally feels like someone's scratching your head. If I had someone to sit here and hold this on my head, I'd probably go to sleep. Like, I would literally pass out right now. Now, if only I was doing my feet too, that would be the combination for real. I feel like I did not do these products justice with talking about them. Because the way I use the foot massager and this back massager so many times throughout my week and my days. I'm literally using the back one right now because my neck hurts so bad from editing and it's helping so much. One of my favorite things about this one is that while it's massaging, it also has a heater so it gets warm and it like loosens those muscles. It's just honestly been a lifesaver for me and I know if I was receiving this as a Christmas present or something like that, I would be 
be so freaking grateful. So I do want to let y'all know that they are having their Black Friday sale coming up. And I also have a code so y'all can save even more money. I know these products are a little bit pricey, but when you think about it and the longevity of it, you're going to be able to use this product multiple times a day whenever you want. You don't have to go somewhere and get a massage. You can use it at your own convenience. You could literally walk around your house and use it or like I'm sitting here in my bed editing, you could do it then. And the foot massager I love because I'm a waitress now and my feet are always in pain from just serving and walking the floor the whole day. So that's been a lifesaver on my feet. And I know a lot of people were suggesting me, oh, get this and this. We have specific shoes that we have to wear. So I have to wear those shoes, period. But the foot massager, I will literally just sit and do my skincare or when I'm getting ready in the day, I have it under my vanity and I'm consistently using it. So yes, these products are a little bit expensive, but in my opinion, it's honestly worth it because like I said, you use it at your own convenience and you can use it as much or as little as you want. But like I said, they are having their Black Friday sale coming up and I do have a discount code. So the discount code is SW20 off and that'll get you 20% off. So if you get this at the right time and you use my discount code, you're going to save a lot of money and they're not going to be as expensive as they would be regularly priced. I personally love these things and I know you will too. And if you give this to anyone for the holidays, I promise you're going to get brownie points. This stuff actually got me tired. I'm going to go wash my face now, brush my teeth, get ready for bed, do my little skincare, and then I will see you guys in the morning. But I'm telling you, invest in yourself. Invest in your self-care. You will thank me later. Good morning, you guys. It's currently 7.48 in the morning. I just woke up. Well, I woke up a little bit ago, maybe 15 minutes or so. But I woke up because, y'all, I was having a bad dream. I woke up to this package. Y'all, what the actual hell? Like, I saw this and I instantly just wanted to cry. It says, forever in my heart with, like, cat paw print. Look at the back of it. It says, Pepe and Savvy. Are we kidding? I need to figure out who sent this to me right now. I think adasia did it because this just has adasia written all over it but dude this makes me want to cry like <laughs> i love this so much i woke up y'all at 7 24 on the dot i woke up at 7 24 on the dot i didn't set my alarm to wake me up until 8 a.m so i've been up for quite some time now hello i'm good how are you good. We gotta get started for you so i kind of want to do like energy drink type yeah. thing but i don't really know I so really for that get. like all right we call them rebels they're basically a red bull so my personal favorite is the peach blackberry okay. or uh the electric berry which it's featured on there try the electric berry small one of that for and sure. ice Nice. Yeah, for yes. sure. I decided to get Dutch Bros today because I got out the house a little bit early. Usually I like to leave my house around 9.30 because it gives me a good time to like get to work, get my morning duty done, and then still get ready because a lot of the times, y'all, y'all know, I'm just, I'm lazy. I used to do this shit in high school. I would wait till the last minute to get up. At first, like at the beginning of the year, I cared to get ready, and then I stopped caring, and that's exactly how I was. Like, first couple of weeks working there, like, I got up every day at 7, got ready, did a full face of makeup. And now, oh, it's ready. Just the electric fairy for yes. you. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. Ah! But anyways, like I was saying, at the beginning of working there, I tried my very best to, you know, get up, do the whole shebang, do the full face. And now I'm like, I'm over it, girl. I don't care. I'm gonna try her. We're super, super slow, so I just have one table and then I'm good to leave. I'm so excited, so I'm just grabbing my stuff, getting my stuff prepped and ready to go. And just like that, y'all, we are out of here. I gotta go to the bank, though, because I'm trying to apply for that credit card, so I need to go give them some paperwork. I was gonna try to go yesterday, but they were closed by the time I was able to go, so I'm gonna just run there real quick before I go home. Quite online, they just said that. I needed to bring, yeah, I just needed to bring in um, three documents. I just got home, it's four o'clock now. I'm about to clean my room because it's getting pretty dirty already. My room gets so dirty so quick. So I'm just gonna pick it up so I can have a clean space to work and get the rest of my content edited. So we're about to just clean my room.
go potty. Hey y'all, it is way freaking later. We got a Deja on the phone. Wanna say hi? Where's the you boo? What y'all went to? Anyways, it's currently nine o'clock. Me and Deja are both gonna edit. She just filmed a little trying fall drinks video, so I'll pop up her YouTube channel so y'all can go watch it. Oh my god, is you plugging me right now? <laughs> but we're about to edit and just have a little editing day. I just got done editing for the night. I told myself it was gonna end around 11.30, so I edited from like 9 to 11.30, so about two and a half hours, but I'm about to just go brush my teeth and then call it a night, so I will see you guys in the morning. Y'all, I'm so fucking tired. It's 9.26. I need to get dressed and get out the mother now I was gonna have Summer pick up my shift because she asked for a shift, but then she said for 100, you out of your damn mind. I'm looking, but if you want to, we could. How about you? Cause I've been, I've been, call me baby. I know it's. Yeah, I don't want to get ready right now. It's 10.06. I already did my morning shift or like my morning duty. So now I just got to get ready. I don't even have dry shampoo. So I'm going to put fucking baby powder in my damn hair. I don't, I don't want to work today. And it's so rainy and just nasty and icky outside. Like, I'm supposed to be in bed. I don't really want you falling for me. Cause I know I'd fall for you. I'm falling for. I don't really want you falling for me. Cause I know I'm falling for you. I'm falling for this to life And it's over I feel your presence take over Just put your head on I just got off It is currently 2.13 Thank God y'all because it's literally raining Y'all see this? It's raining right now. I did not want to be here, y'all. I'm about to head home. I really, really want to go to Five and Below because I saw this video on TikTok. This girl who went to Five and Below and she got some good stuff. And I'm like, I have not been to Five and Below in a minute. So now I'm like, I need to go. I would go today. Actually, let me see. If it's going to rain tomorrow too, I might as well just go today because it's not raining too, too bad right now. Oh no, it's not going to rain tomorrow. And I'm off, I'm off tomorrow. I'm supposed to work tomorrow, but I ended up giving up my shift to Zaria. So I'm not going to work. I didn't even make anything he said he's going to change my pay to, to go because i literally only got one table practically just food runner the whole day yeah i was just watching sam and colby adeja had told me about them a while back but i just hadn't watched any of their videos and then i started watching their conjuring series and now i'm like hooked on their videos because i love halloween you guys know i love spooky stuff that is like my favorite time of the year honestly next year or one of these years on youtube i really really want to take it serious and like actually go do some spooky stuff because i love love that type of stuff like it genuinely interests me so i would love sam and colby if y'all are watching this let me join y'all for an episode i literally have not filmed all afternoon when i came home i uploaded a patreon video and then i started watching the sam and colby videos and i kind of just like went down a rabbit hole with that i just showered for the night putting on some lotion right now i'm gonna do my skincare and then i'm gonna try to edit some more of my video i really wanted to upload it tomorrow so i'm gonna see how much i can get done i'm off tomorrow because i ended up giving my shift away so if i can wake up at like a good decent time i could honestly get it done i just need to like push my 
myself to actually wake up but you guys i cannot wait until i move out of this house there's i swear something that happens every single day without fail at least one thing a day that just reminds me that i am making the right choice by wanting to move out and the fact that i have the ability to move out is a blessing but i just keep putting it off because i'm scared and this and this and this and i'm like girl cut the shit like you're gonna be so much happier just being in your own space your relationship with your family is gonna get better having time away from them your relationship with yourself is gonna get better just so many freaking pros that i can think of that way outweigh the cons of like living on my own i'm like book my flight book my mother freaking flight so yeah girl i'm just over it i'm so over it also i just posted the video of me unboxing the ysl advent calendar and my mom was like i wish i had a calendar like that or she said something along the lines of that so if i go to five below and i can find some good stuff if i could even find like an advent calendar or if i could just find little knickknacks i could put them into the ysl advent calendar and i could be like here's your advent calendar and then she could like open it and stuff i just think that'd be fun but i really want to go to five below tomorrow so i want to try to get what i need to get done done tomorrow so then that way I can go to five below. This is the fucking real. I was supposed to get up today and I was gonna edit and get my video done early so I could go to five below, which I still wanna do. I woke up at like 9 40 something. I woke up kind of early and then I just laid on my phone and I was like, okay, at 10 o'clock, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna start getting my day going. Didn't happen. I ended up going back to sleep and now it is 12 39 and I'm finally like up, up to the point where I don't. Y'all can't even see it anyways. I'm finally up up to the point where I don't think I'm gonna go back to sleep. But my mom and my nephew are actually on their way home now to bring me some food. My mom took a half day today because she's supposed to be taking our cat Ben to the vet. Because he has like, he has like a cyst on his chin that keeps like refilling. And we're not really sure what exactly it is. Because if she tries to like pop it, like pus will come out. It just keeps coming back. So... She's taking him to the vet. Anyways, yeah, she's bringing home food for me. So she got KFC. Super excited for that because I haven't had KFC in a long time. That, that. Lunch day. Lunch day. I don't know what is going on with me but i just feel so icky and gross just don't feel great mentally right now i definitely think i'm gonna start my period and no that's not like an excuse but i'm getting all the signs that i'm about to start my period here soon and i'm just you know like being on your fucking period or even about to be on your period it puts you through so many hormones and just like icky gross feelings and that's exactly how i'm feeling right now like i'm just not feeling great so i already wanted to go to five below today but i think i'm just gonna literally go run whatever errands i want to run for the rest of the night i'm planning my sister's bachelorette party because if you guys don't know my sister got engaged in september and her wedding is in february so we're doing a bachelorette party for her at the end of december and i'm the maid of honor so i've got to plan it but i just ordered the first round of stuff this week for like decorations and things so i kind of want to go to dollar tree and see if i can get like any maybe like a cupcake tier thing or just like cute plates and cups and just different things whatever i can find honestly and then i already want to go to five below so five below is going to be my first stop of the day and then i really want to go to pop shelf too because i have some very big exciting news that i've only talked to patreon about i haven't talked to anybody else about yet so y'all are just gonna have to stay tuned just came in the house i'm going to show you guys real quickly everything that i got so starting off at pop shelf i got this glass cleaner from method and then this is a daily shower spray i've never used anything like this but apparently you just was like spray it in your shower and then it like cleans it without you having to rinse it i got this heavy duty crisp 
clean. And then I got the fabric smell in the same one. I got two of these like little wall plugins, and then I got two packs of the things that go inside of them. And then lastly, I just got these two muffin pans. I got the big ones and then the mini ones because I know y'all seen like those little like banana chocolate chip, barely five recipe little mini muffin things. So I want to look up that recipe and use these. But now with everything that I got from Five Below, the first thing I got was this cute little bag. I just figured this could be like a perfect little everyday bag because I don't really have like a purse that I just love and this one is just so cute. It's green. I love green. It has like a front pocket and then just a big pocket and then a small little pocket inside. I don't know. I thought it was cute so I got it. I got some leg warmers because I'm hoping to up my winter fall fashion. I usually have zero style when it comes to winter because I just don't have enough cute winter clothes so I got these. Hopefully I can like style them and you know make a cute outfit out of them. I got this for my mom. It's like a 12 day of Christmas socks advent calendar. She loves Christmas, loves the holidays. And the other day, whenever I got my advent calendar from YSL, she was like, oh, I wish I had one. So I found this one. I actually saw, I think her name is JC Kaylin or something like that on TikTok. She got this and did a review on it. And the socks are actually so cute. Like these are like the different patterns that are in the socks. So I found this one at my five below and I picked it up for her. I got this little trio of Paris Hilton perfumes, which I kind of want to open right now and see how it smells. I got this so I could keep it in my work bag. This one is Paris Light Platinum, which I think, I think I have the big one of this, if this is the same smell. Yeah, this is the exact same smell as like my big perfume. So this one, love it. This is the gold one. I've never tried the gold one before. Smells pretty good. The last one that came in the kit was the Paris Sparkle. I haven't smelt this one either. Mm, this one smells really good. This one's kind of sweet though. It has like a really like sweet smell to it. I got a scrub mommy. I think these are so cute. I just got one of them. I was gonna get two, but I'm good with one for now. I got this little candle for relaxation. I'm just, I'm running out of my candles. Both my candles are literally to the bottom. I'm just a candle whore. I got these little clear elastics because I've been trying to get clear elastics for the longest time because all I have is a little black one. To work, we can only wear clear elastics. Don't ask me why, I literally have no clue. Then I got two hair products. I'm out of hairspray, so I picked up some Herbal Essence hairspray and then I'm also out of dry shampoo. I've never tried the cherry dry shampoo from them. Actually, I'm not gonna spray it. I'm not gonna waste it. Then, you guys, this is the cutest shit ever. This is a Hello Kitty ramen bowl and it comes with like matching chopsticks i'm saving these for last because this was definitely just like i'm going through it and i'm just going to buy these to buy them they're basically squishmallows but like little small ones <gasps> damn i meant to get two of these okay well i got two of the different ones i meant to get two of this pack because i thought these ones were cuter it's like the fantasy squad if i were to get one out of this one i would either want brina coco alina or monica even baden is cute this one is the series three and this one has like food things i think i'm gonna do the food one first because i'm not too excited i thought i got two of the other ones so so I got the cinnamon roll. I figured I could just keep these in my purse for whenever I'm feeling like anxious or something. They're basically just like squishy balls. The cinnamon roll. She's cute or whatever. I really want the ones that I said. So hopefully I get one of those. What did I get you guys? Am I going to be mad? Am I going to be happy? <gasps> okay. This one I didn't even know was on there. Oh wait, this is Chewy. Chewy the shark. I thought this was like a rare one, but this is a shark. Not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Not my favorite. I definitely want a different one, but they're cute. Oh, look at them. This was just a random purchase because I'm just going through it right now. Anyways, yeah, that is my home sitting in my nephew's little playroom. You know what I'm about to do? I'm about to go give this to my mama. Ow. I'm gonna go give this to my mom and we're gonna see her reaction what she thinks of it But before I go do that, I love you guys Thank y'all for tuning into this week in my life and thank you for just putting up with me for the week Check out my description box for any information like my socials the discount code for the brio products and the link for the brio products. But yeah with all that being said, let's go surprise my mama No, please help me I have a present for you I want a present for me Because you said you wanted an advent calendar So I got you an advent calendar what? Oh, Christmas socks. Well, that's cool. Thank you. Open it now. Here, I'll let you help. Punch, put your hand right here. Punch it with your finger. Oh my gosh, it doesn't punch very easy. Ah! All right, pull out what's in it. What'd you get? Okay, let's see what it looks like. Pair one. They still where'd you go? Pair one. 
Uh oh, you're tearing it up. What do you think day five has? All right, right there in the middle. Not the, not the, not the salt. There you go. Those ones are super cute. Smiley faces.